The Turkish military and the Free Syrian Army have pushed out the YPG from this village. FSA fighters receive a warm welcome. We were hungry and we were out of water, but today we are no longer hungry and we are happy since the Free Syrian Army entered. Castel Kishik is only one kilometer away from the town of Afrin, where the struggle against the YPG goes on. These Kurdish villagers say that life was tough under the YPG. Their fear led them to live in a makeshift bunker. They're tired and weary. The YPG have been gone only a few hours. The fact that they are no longer here is still settling in. When the PKK came to us, they wanted fighters. We didn't give them anyone from us. We had our sons escape with the livestock. And if anyone didn't have a son, they have to give them their daughter. And if he refused that, they told them that they can't live here. The Turkish military and the Free Syrian Army continue to take villages like this one, and people here seem to be grateful that the YPG have been pushed out. But the battle for Afrin town center continues just a short distance away. All around Afrin, all that remains of the YPG are signs of their defeat. The Turkish military say that 70% of Afrin is now free. This was once a YPG special forces base. It now lies flattened. A police station is in ruins. Back at the village, Turkish military drones monitor fast-moving events. On the ground, eyes reflect concern for those in Afrin town center. But here, they can now return to some semblance of normality, and more importantly, to their homes. Asad Beg, TRT World, Afrin, Syria.